Welcome to Kids Club Online from Spring Hill Baptist Church. We're in Mom's car. Know why? Yeah, because we saw a snake. Yeah. And we were scared because snakes can, huh, what can they do? Bite you? Yep, they can. And wait till you hear today's story. Stick around and let's see what you can learn today. Kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Where you at, kitty cat? Oh, hey there, kiddos. It's me, Timmy Bowties. I'm looking for Otis the cat, but I can't find him anywhere. Hey, maybe you can help. Do you see kitty cat footprints anywhere? Oh wow, great job. It looks like Otis pushed open the door and went inside Topher's house. Well, I guess we'll have to find him later. Maisie's flag just went up. Do you know what that means? Maisie has a message. That's right. Let's see what it is. Thanks, Maisie. Whoa, listen to this. Jesus is with me when I'm hurt. That's our big idea for today. Can you say that with me? Jesus is with me when I'm hurt. Hey, I just thought of something. Let's go tell our big idea to tow for the... No, that was Topher the Gopher. Let's go see if he's all right. Topher, are you okay? Ouchie wawa. I crashed on my bike and I think I got an ouchie. Yeah, it looks like you scratched your belly. But Topher, that could have been a lot worse. You really should be wearing a helmet when you ride your bike. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, be sure to remember next time. You could have bumped your head and gotten really hurt. Fortunately though, I think you're gonna be okay. I hope so, but it kind of hurts. Can you help me put a Band-Aid on it? Of course I can. Let's go get one inside. And while we're in there, we can read today's Bible story. It's all about a man who got a big ouchie, kind of like you. It is? What happened to him? Did he fall off his bike? No, they didn't have bikes back then. But why don't we go inside and find out by reading the story? Oh, goody. Come on, kids. I'll see you inside. Come on everybody, it's time to learn and play. Let's all go to Topher's house today. There you go, Topher. You're all patched up now. Thanks, Timmy. It's feeling better already. Can we read the story now? Of course we can. But first, we'll have to get the Bible out of the super duper Bible box. To open the box, we have to say, it's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Let's say that together. It's, it's true. true. It's, it's true. true. The, the Bible, Bible is true. true. Great job. In the Bible, in the book of Acts, there was a man named Paul who loved and followed Jesus. Paul was shipwrecked on an island where it was cold and raining. Let's pretend like we're shivering in the cold. 
<sighs> hey, it's Otis. He loves when we act out the story. Let's keep pretending and maybe he'll come out even more. Fortunately, the people on the island were nice to Paul. They built him a fire so he could warm up. But after a while, the fire got smaller and smaller. So Paul went to get more sticks to throw on the fire. Let's pretend to pick up sticks. Now, let's throw them on the fire. He's coming out. Let's keep going. But there was something in the sticks that Paul didn't see. It was a poisonous snake. When Paul threw the sticks on the fire, the snake jumped out and bit Paul on the hand. Ouch! But Paul was brave, and he simply shook the snake off of his hand. Let's pretend to shake the snake off of our hand like Paul. It's working! Just a little bit more. There were some people who saw Paul get bitten. They thought, surely he will die. But Paul didn't die. Jesus was with him and kept him safe. A short time later, there was a man on the island who was sick in bed. So Paul went in to see the sick man. Paul prayed to Jesus and asked him to help the sick man. Let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and pretend to pray for the sick man. Dear Jesus, please help the sick man get better. Amen. You did it! Otis came all the way out! After praying, Paul placed his hands on the sick man and he was healed. He wasn't sick anymore. After that, Lots and lots of sick people came to Paul, and with the power of Jesus, all the people were made better. And that is today's true Bible story. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! God gave it to me, and he gave it to you. Doodly doodly doo. It says he gave his son to everyone. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Oh, wow. Paul got bit by a snake. That must have hurt. Yeah, I'm sure it did. But was Paul by himself? No way. Jesus was with him. That's right. Jesus helped him get better. And he helped all the sick people get better, too. I wish Jesus could be with me when I get hurt. Wait a second. I just realized something. Hey, kids, we forgot to tell Topher the big idea for today. On the count of three, let's tell Topher, Jesus is with me when I'm hurt. One, two, three. Jesus is with me when I'm hurt. He is? Yeah. Even though you can't see him, Jesus is with you all the time. Oh, hey! Otis's mom is calling him home. We should probably wave goodbye to him. Great idea. Bye, Otis. Thanks for reading the Bible with us. You know what? While Otis is going home to his mommy, Let's answer some questions. Have you ever been hurt? What happened? And how can Jesus help you when you're hurt? Press pause. And discuss. See you later, kids. It's 
It's always a good time to learn about God. It's extra time with Topher. Hello, my name is Topher the Gopher, and I'm your furry friend. Let's learn a Bible verse together. Listen. Hi kids, it's me, Camille. I am so happy to see you. Today, we're learning that Jesus is with us when we're scared. In fact, that's what today's Bible verse is all about. Let me teach it to you. And you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Matthew 28, 20. Now, let's do that together. And you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Matthew 28, 20. Great job! Let's try it one more time. And you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Matthew 28, 20. Remember kids, when you plant God's word in your heart, great things grow from it. See you next time. Bye! Hey there, boys and girls. It's me, Timmy Bowties. It's so good to see you again. In the Bible, a man named Paul got bitten by a poisonous snake. Ouchie wawa! Paul could have been really hurt. Yeah, but who was with Paul? Jesus was. That's right. Jesus was with Paul when he got hurt. And Jesus is with us when we get hurt, too. Was Jesus with me when I fell off my bike and scraped my tummy? He sure was, Topher. He's with us any time we get hurt. In fact, if you're ready to try riding your bike again, I can show you what I mean. I think I'm ready to try again, but maybe I should wear a helmet this time. Topher, you should definitely wear a helmet. Hey kids, let's go on a pretend bike ride with Topher. First, let's put on our helmets. Come on kids, pretend to put on your helmet with me. Great job! Now, let's click the straps together. Click! I've got my helmet on, and I'm ready to go! Looking good, Topher! Okay, kids, hold on to the handlebars and pretend like you're pedaling your bike! Let's go! We made it to the playground! Kids, if you've ever fallen at the playground and scraped your knee, show me your really sad face. When you scrape your knee, Jesus is with you. Now let's keep riding. We made it to the park. Kids, if you've ever been stung by a bee when you're playing outside, show me your really sad face. When you get stung by a bee, Jesus is with you. Now let's keep riding. We made it to preschool. Kids, if you've ever gotten a paper cut at school or home, show me your really sad face. When you get a paper cut, 
Jesus is with you. Now let's ride our bike back home. Hey, we're back to my house. We sure are. You know, it's never any fun when you're hurt or sick, but Jesus is with you. When you pray to Jesus, he can help you be brave and he can help you get better. He can also give you people like your parents to take care of you. Jesus is so amazing. On the count of three, let's shout, hooray for Jesus. Great idea, Topher. Are you ready, kids? One, two, three. Hooray, hooray for, for Jesus. Jesus. It's so nice to know that Jesus is with me when I'm hurt. That's right, Topher. In fact, that's our big idea for today. Jesus is with me when I'm hurt. On the count of three, let's say that together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus is, is with me when I'm hurt. hurt. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye, kids. Bye, Topher. Hey, before I go, let's say a prayer together and ask Jesus to help us when we're hurt. Did you know that Jesus loves you? He really, really does. You can always say a prayer to him if you're sad or just because. He's never gonna stop ever loving you. You can always count on Jesus. It's true. Now fold your hands, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Thank you for being with me. When I get hurt, please keep me safe and help me get better. Amen. Well, kids, once again, it's time for me to go. Come back next time so we can play again. Until then, remember, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me.
amazing 